A horse who is pure class, Frankel, has destroyed them from halfway. For many in life, taking part is enough. But for those in sport, it's the winning that matters. It's the fuel that fires them. But at halfway, Frankel is almost 10 lengths clear. An amazing performance as Frankel heads towards the line. There are days when the sports news is the news. Days when sports are redefined by performances that all who come next will be measured by. In April 2011, Newmarket Racecourse witnessed one of those days. Bred from greatness, the son of Galileo, and named after greatness, the American trainer Bobby Frankel, the young foal was singled out from an early age. From dozens of yearlings, owner Prince Khalid Abdullah made his choice and in early 2010 sent Frankel to be trained by the legendary Sir Henry Cecil. The most dominant trainer of the 80s and 90s, Henry Cecil fell firmly into the category of genius. Champion trainer 10 times, 25 English classic winners, the most by any British trainer since the start of the 20th century. But in sport, as in life, the tables can turn in an instant. Between 2000 and 2006, Cecil failed to train a single Group 1 winner. His yard of 200 horses shrank to 50. His twin brother passed away. And in 2006, he was diagnosed with stomach cancer. But the arrival of Frankel at Warren Place gave Cecil the chance to work his way back to glory. Frankel was unveiled on home ground at Newmarket in August 2010, beating a promising field in very soft conditions. The favourite Frankel is asked to improve and does so. Frankel's coming away to win it now. Wins nicely in the end. I've been pleased with him. I haven't really galloped him, you know. I mean, after he was just ready for a race. Right? Mm -hmm. He'll come on a lot from that and potentially he could be very nice. Frankel ended 2010 with four wins from four. His decisive victory in the Dewhurst Stakes cemented him as the best of his generation and by some distance. And he's pulling clear. Frankel looks very impressive. He's three or four legs clear. A fantastic colt. Frankel wins the Dewhurst. And he was only going to get better over the winter break. The first classic of the season, the 2000 Guineas, is the most important race of its type in Europe. The first real test of talent and temperament for a three-year-old. As the seconds ticked down, the anticipation and excitement was at fever pitch. 35 years after his last victory in this iconic race, Henry Cecil, contending with the effects of chemotherapy, sent his beloved Frankel down to the start in the hands of jockey Tom Queeley. As the gates were loaded, millions held their breath. They're off, they're racing then, and Dubawi Gold is slowly away from the gates for this Kipco 2000 Guineas. Frankel got out well. Frankel broke out from stall one and set a frightening early pace. Frankel is already four lengths clear. He's heading down now towards the last half mile, and it's Frankel and Tom Queeley by five or six lengths. On this day, even Pegasus would have struggled to keep up as Frankel produced the most astonishing display of galloping at speed that the racing world had ever seen, beyond anything thought possible. They're heading then down towards the bushes now. Frankel continues to be in a massive lead, but at the bushes, Frankel is 15 lengths clear inside the last furlong. A horse who is pure class, Frankel has destroyed them from halfway, an amazing performance as Frankel heads towards the line to make every single yard in the Guinness a win it well. It's difficult to compare years and different champions and everything, but um, you know, he, he must be up with them, isn't he? In 2012, Frankel retired to stud. Unbeaten in a stellar career of 14 races, the highest rated racehorse of all time. I don't think I've seen, in my opinion, everybody's got a different opinion, a better horse, you know, he, he's unbelievable. You know, the best horse I've ever seen. But maybe more importantly, that spring afternoon 10 years ago capped one of the most glorious redemption stories in modern sport. The relationship between athlete and coach is the bedrock that success is built on. And it's that personal connection that makes the winning and the taking part all the sweeter. 
as he battled a cancer that would ultimately claim his life. No relationship in flat racing became as special as that between Frankel and Sir Henry Cecil, and how in the 2011-2000 Guineas, they redefined the possible. He kept me going and I'd love to have actually had him another year because I think he would have been even better.